by anybody. Now, what say you, my beautiful sister? What's your name? Uh, Nadine Proctor. And you are the proprietor here? Yes, I am. Tell me something about what you think happened today. Well, I think this or is, before. This is just one of the scenes of voter suppression. Mm -hmm. uh, during the time that we're trying to bring the city to the halt of knowing that we have the freedom to vote, the freedom to march forward and to move the city into a freedom for the existing people that live in this community to make it equal, that it may share the dignity that we all work for since slavery. But the most important thing that bring about hatred is to see someone sabotage the building with Obama, who is our president, and the president that is gonna lead the country to freedom. The most important thing is to look about and see what is taking place with this particular building here to know that hatred still is arise in this town. Not only for the, the building and all the people that are voting here, but the movement of the people that they may be free to vote and free to be able to stand forward and move forward and live in a decent community and have the life to speak and be at present. The most important thing is that Obama has worked hard and we are intentionally to vote and to bring Obama forward that we may continue to live a, a life without suppression of the voters, a life of freedom, a life to move forward, and a life to have whatever distinction that we work as free people in this town called Whitman, Georgia and Brooks County. Mm. I thank you very much. No, no, Ms. Proctor, let me ask all of y'all some questions, if you so choose to respond. Considering everything that has happened here in Brooks and Quitman and in the area of Marvin, Dixie, or uh, uh, Hickory Head all around, don't you think it's kind of pathetic, if not disheartening, that Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, and the other civil rights movement leaders, including the ones who are surrounding President Barack Obama, have heard about the Quitman 10, have heard about many things, voter suppression here in Brooks County, and yet it seemed like CNN, ABC, Fox News, uh, all of these major corporate news media networks, Atlanta Journal and Constitution, all of these MSN, don't you think that it's kind of strange that very few people will take on the challenge to step up to the plate to see what is happening in a little small southern town like Quitman, Georgia? Would, would you, do you think that's kind of strange that Brooks County Quitman is, 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 is on the bottom? Well, what do you think about that? I think that segregation is on a high rise still in the small and rural area, especially when blacks are trying to move forward to be able to vote and to move the town forward. And we as a whole will stand together, we'll continue to fight to remove suppression of the voters, we'll continue to step forward to be free in this town, to, that our children may grow up and be a free citizen and be able to move the forward this town and build a united citizen that lives here in this town, that we may exist, not by the people that commit fraud in the meeting of the election committee and the committee of the county commissioners see it and oh, disobey the rules that it's supposed to be and close down the election and reassign people when the election is closed down by the state of Georgia. It is just ridiculous, 50 years behind. We are moving forward. Any other comments? 